Hello, I'm Bruce Shannon. Today we're going to take a look at a device that I use for thermal conductivity. It's simply a board that has a metal plate on it, a wooden block on it, a styrofoam block, and it says which surface is the coldest. Feel them and see. Well, I'll leave this out and let my students investigate it on their own. Which one's coldest? That one. It's the metal. Eventually, my students will discover that in this case, their sense of touch is deceiving. Even though the blocks feel to be at different temperatures, when we check them with the thermometer, we'll find they're all at the same temperature, which is the temperature of the room. So what's going on? Well, the metal plate is a good conductor of thermal energy. So when you put your hand on, your hand gets colder, the plate gets warmer, and so your hand feels cold. When you put your hand on the wood or styrofoam, they are poor conductors. So very little energy is lost from the hand to the block, and especially the styrofoam, which will insulate the hand where the foam touches it, so it actually blocks the heat from leaving and makes the hand feel warmer. The next step in this investigation is to place a small piece of ice on each of the blocks and observe what happens. Now we're going to speed up the results by a factor of four, so we're going to take 60 seconds worth of time and compress it down into 15 seconds. Now at the end of one minute we find that the ice cube on the foam is not melted at all. It's a few drops of water on the wood, but the ice cube on the metal is completely melted. Now when I feel the foam it doesn't feel cold at all. If I check the wood here, I can feel a little bit of cold right at the center. And when I remove the water from the metal and then feel that, it feels very cold. Now the next step is I'll put a thermometer on each block and see if we get any change. After a minute, the foam temperature has not changed. The wood temperature hasn't changed. But when we check the metal, it has actually dropped about 20 degrees from where it was previously. So this is just the opposite of the previous demonstration. In this case, the metal is giving up thermal energy to the ice cube. The ice is warming up and melting, and the metal plate is actually cooling off. Now this demonstration piece can be made more complicated if you want. You can add more plates to it. Now we have aluminum, we have wood, we have granite has been added, and foam. For further investigations, we've tried all sorts of materials and surfaces, put ice cubes on them to learn a little bit more about their thermal properties. Please check out my other homemade science with Bruce Yaney videos, and thanks for watching. Bye!